talk about it, just from, from the potential of, of perhaps taking it over back then. The question that I have is, or, or the point I'm going to make, is the, we saw a while ago that we had life extension service, all the things that they've done. And Wilson County has been commended over and over for our growth in the 4-H group within this county. We have one of the top groups in the state. And, boy, I don't want to do anything to change that. If there's something the county can do to enhance that, I think that makes a big difference potentially in the life of these young folks as they come up. It's not just for the youth. I look at it as something for the elderly as well. This building on wheels, since it's closed, there was a lot of people that was going there on a daily basis. And it was a place that could be visited. Right now they got the place. We need a place for these older adults also. And you got the youth and the mob, like Commissioner Wally said. We have one of the largest stories in the state of Texas. And we need to do something for this youth to keep the youth off the street, keep them active, <coughs> and have them work. And I know the Tory program, as like I said, they, they're striving for more of the places, looking for things. It's not just about showing them. They got armor, they got gun, gun shoots out there. They got everything, all kinds of stuff, cooking, quilting. There's a lot of things out there that can be done. Also, the extension agent also can use it for their field days. Uh, training for performers and ranchers that's out there. Uh, help keep their license. There's a lot of things this can be used for other than just meals on wheels and the stock show. I can see that. I know Commissioner Wally is worried about the utilities. We've already looked into that. There's no $6,000 utility. I didn't know I was going to know. You weren't about maintenance, or, or you weren't about janitorial service. Anybody who rents it would pay for the janitorial service. It wouldn't be on the county. Anybody. And do you have numbers that we can look at? Sure, I can get numbers. Okay, here's one thing on the numbers. It's, it's going to be it's not, it'll be the same. It's going to be operated different because one thing, the county's not going to be into a beer license. I, I would like to see that happen. With that going away, the cooler does not have to be uh, on to keep what's excess period is there. It can be shut down, so that's going to be an expense. So the, the utility bills will be different carrying forward from what they are right now. On, on the mills bill, it's going to be five days out of the week, right? Yes. Okay, and who's going to pay for all that? That's a, the accounting. I mean, it's going to be on our... Well, do you have any numbers? Okay, they're, not going to have a, they're not going to have a cooler. Well, that's going to be a big deal. Most of what they're going to do, there's going to be some preparation there. And they're going to be coming in, they're going to be sitting down and getting their meals. I thought they had to have coolers. What's that? I thought they had to have coolers. They didn't have coolers down there. I mean, you got a refrigerator. We can take one more. Okay. They were bringing the meals down here, were coming from the Community Council of Sagin. I mean, that's and why. They were them down. That's why before we make a decision, we would like to see all the total numbers and see what it's going to cost the county. We have a detailed business plan. You know, we're talking about real long wheels and the business. We have done it today. I'm a first supporter. I was a buyer in Virginia. Uh, my grand, my kids showed up panels. I'm not against this. I just want to make sure that when we do this, we make the right decision and not, not get this cash out if we continue having to put our hard earned tax dollars. What we probably should do is have a committee that would take a look at um, the current expenses, as many as we can get. Um, well, there was, a, there was a report sent out by Dawn, and I know you got it, and I got it. I got it, but if I did, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. No, no. just to take it out of the box, I contacted the local successful business. Ask him if the circuit that's on the road would he be interested in buying any city. I need to have more information as far as that sense at all. And he would continue to be utilized for its purpose now. I don't think that's 
going to be on the table. If this, this doesn't go through with this, I do not believe that that's going to be an option to sell it to a private individual. Well, well, well to, if I may, what we, what we need to do, I disagree with you, what we need to do is, is to take a look at this thing. It's going to be some cost to the county, I'm sure. But, but we can go through and, and look at what, you know, put together a plan, so to speak, as far as we can see, as to what it is we want to do with this. Yes. I mean, we have some ideas. I know. What do we want to do with this? How does this thing affect the ag extension group? Um, is there a chance they can relocate over there? And if they can relocate over there, and then you kind of have management there already. Um, and then look at what the expenses have been, and then look, you know, you're talking about this because I recall when I met with Judge Quinney that one of the, the liquor license and that big uh, uh, cooler were an expensive thing to take a look at. So take a look at um, changes in what the utilities and all that would be. And then as much as you can, speculate on the fact that, you know, it could be rented out. Um, at a reasonable rate that would make it appealing to a number of folks. And you're not going to be able to develop what I would call a full business plan, but you can develop one so you're not blind going in. Um, I'm in favor of the one, and I can tell you that. Um, so just, just because. Uh, so now, Crawford is a 501c, so I don't know if we have to look into that too. So. I mean, if, if you're thinking it's going to make you that it's not a business proposition to make money. We're not in business to me. We're, we're here to help the citizens of this county. And this be to me one part to help the citizens of this county. Well, I'm, I'm with you, but but at the same time, we ought to have as much of a snapshot as okay. we can put together that says, okay, here's how we're going to be at so. Um, and I think the judge is right. The fact that whoever it is you talked to was interested in buying it. Um, although the judge says that that's something that's probably not going to be on the table, um, indicates right there that it's perceived as a as buy. Nobody, no businessman is going to buy that thinking he's going to lose money. So it, this, is, this is a situation that I think is probably good for the county and the money. I mean, we've got, I mean, we all do it. It's not a making proposition either. It's a service that we provide here to the county. You know, we've got the collection facility. It's not making you no know, money, but it's a service that we provide to citizens of this county. Well, and I think this falls into it again. Um, it'd be interesting to take a look, and there probably is some sort of study that you could have involved in 4-H and how they contribute. Uh, society in later years versus perhaps folks that didn't have that opportunity. And so everything about it is good. I do agree that we ought to put together a little better snapshot. Um, Why did all of this come out come about on the floor? Was it because of the statute committee not getting along with the children committee? I mean those are two things right there that uh, I believe in the past years I mean they can't get along and negotiate something good for the county. They're always looking for the county to come forward and take over. And I think those two committees can work out something on a deal where they can take over as a, as a one, not as a two. Have you talked to them about that? I don't even know who's in the committee. Okay. I mean that I know just because it's been going on for years and years. And that's the problem that they're always bringing up to so the board can take over and they can resolve the problem. And if they can work it out where it doesn't cost the taxpayers money, well, I think they ought to sit down also like we're sitting down and discussing this issue. So I don't see why they can't do that. I don't think they've sat down a few times over the past few years and have not been able to work with the We have another public comment, and I don't know if you still want to do the bank, you still like to say something? I'm uh, uh, Scott Bainey. I'm I'm vice president of the Livestock Show Committee. 
and um, I farm ranch and dairy in Precinct 2, so it goes without saying why I'm for them, but the question is why should the county, why should the county take it over? And I apologize for being late, some of this has been, maybe has been said, but why should the county take it over? And I just have a couple of, couple of deals there. We have over 450 participants in the stock show every year. And that's in a show barn that hasn't been improved in 20 years, 20 years. We don't, nobody has, the, the, in this day and age, private entity can't take care of, the, of trying to make updates. We don't have any money. So in this day and age, things like stock show, I mean, a show barn, civic centers, uh, things of that nature, they don't, they're not gonna make any money. But we hope that in the long, directly they're not gonna make any money, but we hope in the long run, we do keep kids doing the right thing. And I believe that this is some of the right thing where they learn a little bit about raising animals and shooting. Also in the rifle club, there's, there's uh, 35 to 40 participants that are there about six months out of the year. That's very important to them. In a facility that hasn't been improved in, in many, many years and needs some improvements. That was my first point. My second point was the, what it is called the Wilson County Show Barn. And it was, it was named that, I guess it was the early 70s, of people from all over the county that donated their time, money, and efforts into getting that, getting the, the stock show in one centralized place. And it was very important to those people, and it's very important to me that we keep that up and improve it to the best that we can. Thank you. These uh, folks that operate this, the two groups that are, that are involved, um, I don't think they're pulling money out of their pockets to make ends meet. Um, is it something that we're going to make money on? You know, Commissioner Pyle pointed that out. Um, is it something that we may be able to? To manage effectively, and I think I think that's a possibility. <coughs> but I still think to get everyone to pick it. I mean, it's not we're not going to come back and say this is going to be a big money maker because I don't think I don't think that that's the case. But I think we can come back and fill in the blanks a little better than we have. Um, What's that?
too much.
They're making him press. They're going to show up on the day of move out. You're not going to move out. You're not going to take my stuff. Blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, sometimes there's two, two options required to go for a for safety purposes. So, what I'm requesting is that we uh, change that if possible. Uh, currently, there's, there's a uh, $200 fee that's paid to the court for that rent of possession to be created and executed. The, but there is nothing there to pay for an officer's time. Not that this money is going to the officer. That certainly is not going to happen. The money goes to the general county, Wilson County's general fund. But it helps cover that officer's time on the on the job site. They're, they're being tied up. They can't go anywhere else unless of course there's an emergency of some kind. So uh, the in your, in your handout here, it tells you that uh, one of Wilson County's surrounding one of Wilson County's surrounding counties, this is what Luke is actually, charges thirty dollars an officer if it's a sheriff's deputy, to seventy-five dollars an officer if it's a constable. Uh, after the first after the first hour, the first hour an officer's on scene is free, but after that they begin charging. Two counties, uh, Abascosa. And uh, Bear County charge fifty dollars per officer per hour after the first two hours. So <coughs> the first two hours, an officer is there. Um, there would be no charge. And after two hours, they get charged fifty dollars an hour, hour per officer. Wilson County, we don't have. That. We don't charge anything. You're just simply there until the duration is over. So that's that's the first. Change, I would like to see my recommendation was $50 per hour per officer after the first time. Any questions? The second one is not near as, uh, as near as, uh, doesn't occur near as frequently as the first one, uh, order of sale. Um, I've had one, one of those situations since uh, I took office and Deputy Hawkins from the Sheriff's Department might have had several of those. He gets quite a few more of those types of activities from the district clerk's office and so forth than the constables have been receiving. But it does, still doesn't occur here as often as a bit of possession. On the order of sale, let's see, a year ago when I first wanted to make, make recommendations for changing this and, and got in on it, too late to do that or accomplish it. Uh, the, the documentation you have attached on the last sheet, the last, the third sheet of your uh, documentation there, the last column is Wilson County, and for a uh, writ of sale or a writ of execution, I'm sorry, for the writ of possession, you'll see. I'm sorry, the writ of sale. We charge for the writ of sale. I don't know why that says NA there. Uh, we charge is $200, I think, is the court cost of the papers. $200, but there is no fee to collect. Uh, or there is a 2% fee. Where this says there is no fee, there is, in fact, a 2% fee. So if you look at an example that I put there, on a sale of, a order of sale for $175,000 property, Wilson County would make $2,500 in commission, okay? Now again, that commission doesn't go to the constable, doesn't go to the deputy that served the paper that was there. It simply goes into the general fund to help recover some of the costs. And there's a lot of costs. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, work on the effort on the part of the constable, the sheriff's deputy, to put a sale of order together. There's a lot of work, uh, a lot of time invested in that. The surrounding, some of the surrounding counties, Surrounding, and when I say surrounding, I'm talking about contiguous to Wilson County. Charge uh, what's more common, and that is uh, on $125,000 order of sale, they're going to charge 10% 10, 10 of the first $10,000, 5% of the next $15,000, and then of the final amount, 2.5%. So in the example of the $125,000 order of sale uh, of a property, Wilson County would collect $2,500 commission. These other counties would get $4,250. And they're 10% on the first $10,000, 5% on the next $15,000, and 2.5% on the remaining balance. A 
appears to be quite common uh, throughout the state of Texas and, and most of 